In the world of oncology, some diseases are so aggressive, so relentless, patients and doctors are left with few, if any, good options. Relapsed or refractory acute leukemia is one of those battlegrounds. For patients with specific genetic mutations, survival often measured in months. But what if you could target the very engine of that cancer? What if you had not one, but two first-in-class drugs launching at the same time, both dramatically outperforming expectations. That is the story of Syndax Pharmaceuticals, ticker SNDX. And this isn't a typical biotech story of future promises. This is a story of commercial execution happening right now. Syndax has launched two blockbuster potential drugs, Refuvorge and Nictimbo. And the results are already reshaping treatment paradigms and putting the company on a fast track to profitability. Today, we're breaking down the science behind these two remarkable drugs, the stunning commercial numbers, the multi-billion dollar expansion opportunities, and whether Syntax is one of the most compelling stories in oncology today. Biotech breakthrough stuns medical world. This is the pill that could change everything. Syndax story is built on two distinct powerful scientific breakthroughs. Let's start with their lead, wholly owned asset, Revelforge. To understand how it works, you first need to understand the problem. Revelforge is designed for patients with acute leukemia, or broadly known as blood cancer who have specific genetic typos called a KMT2A rearrangement or an MPM1 mutation. Now think of these genetic typos as a stock accelerator barrel in the cancer cell. It forces the cell to divide and multiply completely out of control. For this to happen, another protein in the body called menin has to act as the key in the ignition. So as long as the main in key is in the ignition and the accelerator pedal is stuck down, the cancer engine runs wild. So what does Revo Forge do? It's a key blocker. Sounds funny, but it's a simple oral pill designed to get into that ignition switch before the main in key can get in. But it's important to know that Revo Forge carries the FDA's most serious safety alert which is a box warning for a condition called differentiation syndrome, which can be life-threatening if not treated. It also carries a risk of a dangerous heart rhythm problem called QTC prolongation. So these side effects require careful monitoring. So Revo Forge doesn't destroy the engine or eliminates cancer. It just prevents it from starting by blocking many. Revo Forge shuts down the growth signal and these specific leukemia cells stop multiplying. This is the definition of precision medicine. This is a highly targeted therapy that only works for patients whose cancer is driven by this exact mechanism. Being first in class provides a significant competitive advantage, allowing Syndax to define the market and establish treatment guidelines. However, it also carries the burden of educating the entire medical community on a new pathway and managing the specific safety profile, including its box warning which requires a more intensive educational and sales effort. And for those patients, while it's not a cure, it represents a monumental step forward. But Syndax didn't stop here. Their second drug, Nictimbo, which they developed with their partner Insight, tackles a completely different but equally devastating problem. Many blood cancer patients receive a life-saving stem cell transplant, which gives them a brand new immune system from a donor. Sometimes this new immune system is too aggressive. Imagine hiring a new security team for your house, but instead of just protecting you from intruders, they start attacking you and your family as well. That's called chronic graft versus host disease, or GVHD. The donor's immune cells meant to protect the patient start attacking the patient's own body, causing severe inflammation and scaring in organs like the skin, lungs, and liver. A key part of this rogue security team are immune cells called macrophages. Macrophages are the ones causing a lot of the damage. So Nictimbo is like a direct command 
that specifically tells these overreactive macrophages to stand down. It's an antibody administered as an intravenous or IV infusion that blocks a critical survival signal they need called CSF1R. While effective, it's not without risks. The drug carries warnings for potential infusion-related reactions and can pose risks to a developing fetus. By taking out these key aggressors, Nictinvo calms the immune system's attack, reduces the inflammation, and gives the patient's body a chance to heal. It is a first-in-class approach that targets the root cause of the damage. So Syndax has two novel mechanisms targeting two areas of huge and met need. But being first doesn't mean you're alone. So what does the competitive landscape look like for these two drugs? Let's start with Revoforge. As a first-in-class menin inhibitor, its competition isn't from all drugs, but from other companies racing to develop drugs with the exact same mechanism. The primary rival is Cura Oncology's drug, Ziftomeny. Now, both drugs have shown similar overall efficacy in pivotal trials, with a complete response rate around 23% in MPM1 mutated leukemia. The real difference comes down to their safety profiles. Revoforge carries a risk of an irregular heart rhythm called QTC prolongation, which requires monitoring. Diftomanib, on the other hand, has shown higher rates of side effects called differentiation syndrome in some studies, though it does not appear to have the same heart rhythm risks. Syndac's key advantage here is being first. They secured the first ever approval for a menin inhibitor, giving them a critical head start. Perhaps more importantly, Revoforge has received a major vote of confidence from the medical community. The National Comprehensive Cancer Network, or NCCN, has already included Revoforge in its official treatment guidelines for both KMT2A and NPM1 mutated leukemia, a powerful endorsement that guides treatment decisions across the country. Now, for Nictimvo, the story is different. It faces established competitors in chronic graft versus host disease, like Jacafi and Resurog. But Nictimvo isn't just another drug. It's the only drug that targets the CSF1R pathway. Its competitive advantage is its unique mechanism. It's approved for patients who have already failed at least two other therapies, a very difficult to treat population. And in those patients, it delivered an impressive 74% overall response rate in its pivotal trial. This shows it's addressing a critical and met need that other drugs can't. Like Revoforge, Nictinfo has also received academic validation with its pivotal data published in the prestigious New England Journal of Medicine and inclusion in NCCN guidelines. So while competition exists, Syndax has carved out a strong position for both drugs, backed by a first mover advantage, a unique mechanism, and key endorsements. Pulling off two complex launches while advancing a deep pipeline requires flawless execution, and the Syndax leadership team is delivering. CEO Michael Metzger has clearly articulated a vision to build a profitable company with two blockbuster products. He's supported by a deep bench, including the recent addition of Dr. Nick Botwood as a chief medical officer a veteran oncologist who previously led development of blockbuster drugs like Obdivo and Yervoy at Bristol Myers Squibb. The company's strategic focus and discipline are evident. They are managing expenses while aggressively pursuing the most valuable indications for their drugs, a strategy that is resonating with both doctors and investors. And now, let's dive into the financials. First, the balance sheet. As of June 30th, 2025, Syndax had a very strong cash position of 517 million. Their net loss for the quarter was $71 million. But the key message for management is that they expect operating expenses to remain stable around these levels for the next few years. This is a huge statement with revenues from two drugs ramping up significantly and the flat expense base the company has a clear and credible path to profitability with its current cash on hand. Now, beyond the top line numbers, let's talk about margins, which are critical for any newly commercial biotech. First is the gross margin, which tells you how profitable the drug itself is. 
Syndex's gross margin has been excellent, improving from around 89% in its first launch quarter to over 96% recently. That's a fantastic sign. But the more important metric is the operating margin, which includes all the heavy costs of research, development, and marketing. For a new biotech, this number starts deeply negative, and the key is to see rapid improvement. And that's exactly what's happening here. Syndax's operating margin has improved dramatically each quarter as revenues grow, showing that they are quickly closing the gap on their expenses. This rapidly improving operating margin is one of the clearest indicators of a successful launch and validates the path to becoming a profitable company. And now let's move beyond the consensus Wall Street view. While analyst targets provide a snapshot of sentiment, a true understanding of the potential risk and reward requires building a valuation. To do this, I've developed three distinct scenarios, a base case, a bull case, and a bear case. My analysis is anchored by a foundation of core financial data. So, as of their latest report, as mentioned before, Syndax has a strong cash position of $517.9 million. Their total debt, which is a non-traditional royalty interest financing, stands at $343.8 million. They have about 86.1 million diluted shares outstanding, and their estimated quarterly operating cash burn is around $91.5 million. With this framework, let's explore the range of possibilities. First, let's look at the base case which assumes management delivers on its core near-term objectives. Here, we assume the FDA approval of RevoForge in NPM1 mutated AML is granted on schedule in October 2025, allowing the company to achieve peak annual sales of $1.2 billion in that setting. We also assume Nictimvo continues its strong uptake, capturing a significant share of its market and reaching peak sales of $1 billion dollars. Finally, we risk adjust the high potential frontline AML program with a 30% probability of success. Under these conditions, my valuation suggests an implied share price of approximately $30 per share. Next, we have the optimistic case, the bull case. This scenario envisions flawless execution and positive clinical surprises. Here we assume RevoForge achieves a dominant market share pushing its peak sales to $1.5 billion. Critically, we also assume the frontline AML trials yield positive data, unblocking a path to over $3.5 billion in peak sales. For Nictimvo, we model successful expansion into earlier lines of therapy and a positive signal in its lung disease trial, expanding its franchise potential to $2 billion. In this rose scenario, the enterprise value could exceed $4.7 billion, leading to an implied share price approximately $57 per share. Now, this is the dream scenario. Finally, we must consider the bear case, which acknowledges the inherent risks of biotechnology. In this scenario, we model potential headwinds. We assume the FDA delays NPM1 approval of RevoForge, limiting its peak sales to $600 million and the crucial frontline trials fail. For Nictimvo, we assume the launch flattens out, limiting its peak sales to 500 million, and that the lung disease trial also fails. This outcome would severely impact the company's valuation, potentially dropping the implied share price to approximately $13 per share, which is not far from today's price. And this brings us to the final verdict on Syndax Pharmaceuticals. My analysis shows a wide but justifiable range of potential outcomes. The current stock price likely reflects a probability-weighted blend of these scenarios. The key takeaway for investors is to identify which set of assumptions they believe is most likely and to monitor the key catalyst, namely the October NPM1 PDUFA date and future frontline trial data. That will cause the market to shift its valuation from one scenario toward another. Now, the bull case is extremely compelling. Syndax is one of the rare biotech companies with two simultaneous 
outperforming launches in large oncology markets. They have a clear path to profitability, a massive growth runway, and a management team that is executing at the highest level. The bear case revolves around the inherent risk of biotech clinical trial failures, regulatory delays, and future competition. Can they successfully compete against other menin inhibitors that are a few years behind? Will their frontline AML trials succeed? These are the billion dollar questions. For investors, Syntax offers a unique combination of commercial stage their risk in and clinical stage upside. The immediate success of Revoward and Nictimvo provides a strong revenue floor, while the pipeline offers true blockbuster potential. So with a major catalyst in October and a clear strategy for growth, Syndax has firmly established itself as a major new player in oncology. As always, this is not financial advice. The valuation scenarios presented reflect a range of potential outcomes based on specific assumptions and are subject to change. You should always do your own research and due diligence before making any investment decisions. What are your thoughts on Syndax 2 drug launch? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.